Last night I got sent a clip that made me extremely angry. It's a clip of a streamer playing Madden 21 with his child on his lap and then he did poorly in the game like he missed a first down catch or something and he just went full fucking primal caveman and smashed his controller on the desk which made his kid start crying and made him even angrier so then he throws his kid on the chair and then yells at the kid because he's doing shitty in the game. Right away, him playing Madden 21 tells me he already makes bad decisions, but to broadcast your child abuse on Twitch is a really fucking wild one to do. I'll play the clip for you now, but I just want to give a fair warning. I think it's pretty hard to watch, so just keep that in mind, but I think it's important to see how big of a piece of shit this guy is. God damn it! $300 fucking controller! Yo, can I fucking press pause? Just sit right here. Stop. I gotta go, yo. I'm about to fucking lose it, yo. <coughs> Shut the fuck up! No, your computer isn't lagging, nor is the video itself. This pathetic worm just streams using a dial-up connection that he's probably stealing, so the frame rate's dog shit, and he has a $300 controller apparently, but a 30 cent internet connection and webcam. The webcam looks like you're trying to watch censored hentai. It's so fucking pixelated. But hey, that's just his style, baby. Child abuse in 360p. Really sad shit all around. I Like I said, I think it's pretty hard to watch. Now, he didn't, like, throw the child. Like, he didn't go in there and, like, slam dunk the kid into the chair or anything or spike it like a football in Madden. But to aggressively throw the child down and then scream in his face is nothing shy of horrible parenting and genuine child abuse, I think. I think most people would agree with that except for a couple of really battle-hardened Twitter users with their furry porn avatars and anime profile pics saying that it's not child abuse and they went through similar things and loved their parents and it made them stronger and that you're just a bunch of pussies these days if you can't take your parents yelling at you in your face because they got very sad and salty at a fucking sports video game. I think it's definitely child abuse, 100% in my opinion, like I think there's really no argument there. I feel extremely sorry for the child. The father is a worthless hemorrhoid going into this full fucking meltdown mode and tantrum over just doing poorly in a sports video game is just the highest level of pitiful I could imagine. I don't remember exactly what his wording was, but in his little Twitch slogan, the little sentence or paragraph under the stream to let you know about the streamer, he said something like, being a loving father and supreme turbo gaming ultimate gamer warrior is my mission in life. I definitely say that is a complete mission failure. I don't know what it is about sports games, there must be some kind of curse on the genre. It just brings out the demon in people. It's fucking pathetic shit though. Uh, the good news is he's been banned from Twitch and he's like deleted all social media and shit. I don't know if this is true, but apparently his wife actually kicked him out because of this, so that's good that she's taking action to protect the child from him. Because if he's gonna melt down like this over something as trivial as a Madden game against the fucking computer, he's not even playing a real person, he's playing the fucking AI and going into this like nuclear explosion meltdown of anger. He's, he's not safe to be around. Again, I don't know if that's true or just some kind of Twitter fan fiction, but what is true is fucking sports gamers are a different kind of salty in their game. It reminds me of the plot of Kingsman when Valentine put the chips in the phones that make people mindlessly kill each other to get the world's population down. I feel like Valentine could have done the same thing by just making everyone play Madden. They would have been at each other's throats and the world would have been in chaos. But yeah, anyway, this clip just made me really upset and I wanted to just kind of talk about it a little bit and let people know that it's not okay. I don't know why there's like kind of a decently sized portion of people on Twitter arguing that what he did is perfectly justified and the kid may have had it coming because the kid impeded his ability to play the game properly. Like it's crazy. Twitter is the most wild fucking place I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. There are other people arguing like, you can't say he's a bad father, you're only seeing a 40 second clip. He could be one of the world's best fathers who just had a, a slip up. You stupid shit stain. This isn't a slip up. A slip up was when you accidentally say damn or shit around a child. Not, oh my controller died. Time to go scream in the face of a baby. That's not a fucking slip up. It makes you a psychopath and a terrible father. You can absolutely say this man is a horrible father based on this clip and this clip alone. This is abuse. It's not just a mistake. He is abusive and he broadcast it. I can absolutely say that with a high degree of confidence because it is right fucking there. I don't know why people are victim blaming an actual baby. It's so 
Twitter-like. I mean, it's so in line with Twitter, it's impressive. No matter how dumb the fucking take you can think of is, you will find it on Twitter and find people that wholeheartedly believe it. Twitter is just, it's crazy. What a crazy cesspool of degenerate scum. Fucking nuts. It, uh, a mistake! Oh no, don't, don't get mad at this father, he just made a mistake in a heated gamer moment. So fucking stupid, what's next, gonna start uh, excusing people for beating their wives? Ah, oh, he lost his Madden game. Uh, it only makes sense that he went and put his hands on his wife. Uh, it's Twitter just, there's no end to how low they'll stoop with the dumbest fucking takes imaginable. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to talk about this because it was really, really frustrating. It made me extremely mad to see. And I do hope the story with the wife kicking him out of the house is true. And really happy to see the quick action Twitch took in banning him. So that's also very good. And uh, yeah, really, that's about it. See ya.